Good afternoon team, so you got Jared and Crystal here from your team at Purpose Fitness Australia. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run you guys through what we like to preach here at Purpose Fitness Australia. Um, and that's gonna start with our warm up um, and our activation drills before we actually hit a conditioning session. Now when we refer to the term conditioning, what we do is we're actually referring to the session or the purpose of the session, um, whether it's gonna be a back day or a cardio session or whatever your goal is um, that you're gonna focus on your goal that's your conditioning phase. So what we're gonna do is gonna teach you everything that you need to know to get the body primed and ready. Um, to, that way you can maximize your potential and endurance throughout the gym workout and get the effect of your training essentially. So first up, what we're gonna do before we even start training is focus on our stretches. So I'm gonna get Crystal here to demonstrate why I run her through exactly what we're gonna do. So when we come to stretching, what we do is we like to work from the lower body upwards. Reason being is the body works on an XY frame. Generally, the lower body is the biggest problem to a lot of our injuries or our tightness or even posture concerns. So what we're gonna do is get Crystal to sit down on the floor first. Now, our first exercise that we're gonna run through, guys, is we're gonna loosen up the hamstrings. So I generally like to work through the soles of the feet, through the posterior chain, into the quads, into the hips, into the lower back, and then forward into the upper body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch our hamstrings by having our toes pointed towards the ceiling. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna reach slowly forward as far as she can go to where that first bit of tightness or restriction occurs. And we're not gonna go any further than that. So what you wanna do is you wanna to aim to get that stretch, that way you can feel it. But what you don't wanna do is go so hard and so quick that you actually are struggling because it's so painful. Um, when you go to that point where it's just so painful, you're actually defeating the purpose of the stretch. So in this position, what we wanna do is actually take the time to hold where that restriction of the movement occurs and actually take a deep, slow breath. I like to work on about a three second in, a one second pause, and a three second breathe out with a one second pause and repeat that. Very much like a box cycle of breathing pattern. What it actually does is it allows the body to relax. It actually helps with the oxygenated blood um, and getting the body around to get nice and warm for the session. So we're gonna hold this for about 10 seconds. Now what I'm gonna do is get Crystal to back off the intensity now, so back off that restriction. All right, now what we're gonna do is come forward again, take a deep breath in, exhale all the way, go all the way forward, come in right forward to here. Good. Now as you can see, her hands are now gone further. So as we can see, the first stretch isn't effective or isn't enough. Um, just to do one stretch. What we do is we actually need to do multiple stretches throughout our warm up. That way, as you can see, we're slowly starting to release that myofascial tissue scarring um, and getting the body back to its original length, which is what the goal of our warm up is. Good, and now that's 10 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back that off again. And now we're gonna go in forward again. Now this time we should get a little bit further as the hamstrings begin to release. Excellent, good. Now, as you can see here with Crystal's posture, you can see her drawing her chin towards her chest. That's a great stretch as well for the lower erectes. So you'll see through the lower back, which will channel. So as we stretch through the feet here, we're gonna stretch through the soleus, the calves, the hamstrings, into the glutes, and through to the lower back as soon as we pull that head down. Generally, when you pull that chin to the chest, some people might get a little bit of a traveling sensation up the vertebrae. Um, and that is a result of just the tightness coming through that posterior chain. So what we recommend is just to keep stretching until that uh, pain or that traveling sensation actually eases off and there is no trouble at all. All right, perfect, and we're gonna relax there. So that's stretch number one for our session. So that is releasing those hamstrings and into that posterior chain.